Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for joining me for another workout. I really appreciate you um, being willing to try these out. Today we're gonna do uh, more of a yoga style workout. It's not traditional yoga, but it's yoga movements set to music. It's supposed to feel more restorative, a little more of a stress reliever. You'll also get some flexibility and strength benefits. Um, and hopefully some relaxation benefits. So let me know what you thought in the comments and I hope that you enjoy, thanks. Okay, we're gonna start with our feet wide, toes and knees turned out. Sink your hips down and just relax through the shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. Just scoop the hands up the midline and then push away. And we're gonna push the hands from the right to the left and then change direction. Do that again. Push from the right and push from the left. One more. Now with your right arm, draw a big circle down and around. And with your left arm, circle down and around. Starting from the left, push the hands across and across. Now circle the arm down, left arm. This time, step the feet under the hips and swing the arms down and then push away. So we swing and push. Bend the knees a lot, lift the belly. You can start to lift the heels if that feels good. Two more. Now step your feet back wide and push hands to the left, to the right, and the big arm circle. Right arm comes down, bending the knees and the left arm. Let's breathe. Bring it in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose, breathing in, and breathing out. Just feel the turn to the chest and the shoulders. Feel the weight shifting in the legs as you bend the knees. One more time. One more, feet step together, and swing the arms down and up. Swing. Try to let go of your neck here. Just release it as you fold, and maybe add the heel lift. Push. So swing and stretch. One more, feet step wide. This time, just the arm circle, down. Another left arm, down. Breathe in and out. In and out. Can you bend your knees more? Slow, full circles. Just one more, we're gonna step together again, feet into the hips. Arm swings down. Now watch the outer arm. If you like, you can lift the knee as you push to the roof. Starting to challenge your balance a little more. Feeling our body warm and ready for the rest of the workout. One more. Job. We're going to do sun salutations now. So turn to the right. Your feet can be underneath your hips or together. Go ahead and lace your fingers behind you. Push your knuckles down. Just feel that stretch across the collarbone. Extended mountain. Palms circle overhead, touching above the head. Forward fold, bend the knees, 
lift your belly and touch touch the floor. Flat back extend. Hands to the shins. Shoulders hip height. Bend the knees and release the neck. Come back to your forward fold. Step both feet back to a lot, to a down dog. Hips high. Feet hip distance. And then roll forward to a plank. Bringing the knees to the floor. We're going to cat cow. So round through the back and tuck the chin. And then cow. Think about lifting your head and your tail. Back to down dog. So tuck your toes, lift your hips, and push your hips back. Now bend your knees a lot. Step forward with your right foot. Knee right over the ankle. Lift the chest. Step your feet together. Tuck your chin. And then stand. Extended mountain. Oh. Exhale and dive. Come forward to your fold. Breathe in and flatten the back. Hands to the shins. Long spine. Exhale. Come to your fold. Breathe in and step back to your down dog. Both feet in hip distance. Breathe out. Pushing the heels down. Breathe in and roll forward. Bracing the core. Knees down. You can come to cat cow here. Or bend the elbows. Lower the chest. Crocodile. Squeeze your butt and roll the shoulders back. Baby cobra. Tuck your toes. Bend your knees and lift your hips. Back to your down dog. Bend your knees, step your right foot forward, knee right over the ankle, lift the chest, and step the feet underneath the hips. Stay here, relax through the back of the neck. Bend your knees and stand, extended mountain. And then clasp the hands behind the back. Push the knuckles to the floor. Enjoy this chest stretch. Inhale, palms together over the head. Extended mountain. And then forward fold. Lift the belly, bend the knees. Hands to the floor. Flat back extend. Palms to the shins. Stretching through the tailbone and the crown of the head. And then release the Release the neck back to your fold. Step back to your down dog. Feet hip distance. Hand shoulder width. Now roll forward into your plank. You can bring the knees down here. You can come to cat cow. Or squeeze the elbows in, lower the chest. Crocodile. And then come into cobra or up dog with long arms. Squeezing the butt. Lift the hips back to your down dog. This time your left foot steps forward. Knee right over the ankle, lifting the chest. Step both feet forward, coming into your fold. Belly lifts, tailbone lifts, and stand. Come back into your extended mountain. Lift the belly and come to fold. Let the breath go. Flat back, fill the lungs with air. Back to your forward fold, tucking the chin. And then stepping back to your down dog. Pushing the heels toward the floor. Breathe in and roll forward. Bracing the core in your plank. Squeeze the elbows in and lower the body. Breathe in, push the floor away. Squeeze the butt tightly. And now lift the hips back to your down dog. Your left foot steps through. Breathe in and lift the chest. Step forward to your fold. Breathe out. Release the head, the neck. All right, bend your knees, roll yourself up. Time for some strength. So step your feet really wide, as wide as your hands will go. And then we're gonna bend our right knee a lot, 
right over the ankle. Turn your back foot in and turn your hips square to me. So you want your hips facing forward, but your knee facing to the side. This leg is really strong, so squeeze the quadricep, front of the leg, and then push into the heel on your back foot. All right, we're gonna breathe in and bring the arms up. And if you want more challenge, you can pick up your heel and then realign your knee so it's right over the ankle. Or you can just put the heel down. We're gonna extend our warrior. So breathe in and reach over the knee. And then breathe out. Bring your forearm to the thigh and reach the arm high over the head. And now we're gonna flow to some warrior. So breathe in. Hand comes behind your back. Breathe out, and the other hand reaches high over the head. We're going to come back into our warrior two. So here, you might want to put that heel down. If it's feeling shaky, or you can lift it to strengthen your ankle and your knee more. Just breathe. Square your body. We're going to try a new pose, triangle pose. So straighten your right knee, reach over your foot, and then just touch down wherever your hand lands. So if you're tipping forward here, you just want to slide the hand a little higher on the, on the leg. If you need to bend this knee a little bit, you're welcome to do that. Now, if you're feeling balanced, Go ahead and bring your eye gaze up to your fingertips. Just breathe. Remember our sun warrior? We're going to breathe in and flow back to sun warrior. So bend your right knee lots. Swing your top arm behind your back. And then reach high over the head. Coming back to extended warrior two. Keep the legs exactly the same forearm to the thigh, or maybe down to the ankle, and then just reach high over the head. We're going to hold here. If you want to extend this, just sweep your top arm behind the back, and then breathe as you look over the shoulder. Just hold. Hey, let's do it all on the other side. So adjust your feet. So this time we're turning the left foot and the knee out. And then the right foot turns inward as well, but we square the hips to the front. Ah, just breathe and sink into the legs. You want to draw in here, brace through the core. That's our foundation of strength. Now breathe in, reach the arms up. And you might want to stay here or you might want to try that ankle lift, or the heel lift. Just realign those knees. Ah, uh, hang on. So your legs might be shaking now, and that's normal, because we're getting stronger. All right, ready to extend our warrior two. Breathe in and reach over the arm. Breathe out and touch down. So forearm to the thigh, or hand to the, to the ankle. And now let's flow back to some warrior. So legs stay the same. This hand reaches behind the back. And then your left hand reaches high over the head. Just breathe. All right, come back in. Warrior two. If you need a little breather, you can put that heel down. So you can come up if you need to. Shake out those legs and come back in when you're ready. Make sure your front knee is pulling out here toward the pinky toe. Let's find our triangle. So straighten your left knee, reach over the toe, and then touch the hands down. Remember, if you need to, it's okay to bend this knee a bit. And if you're tending to tip forward here, come higher on the leg. If you 
like eye gaze comes up to the fingers. Squeeze the muscles in your leg that will help you hold this pose. We're about to get out of it. Let's slow to Sun Warrior. Left knee bends, left arm sweeps high over the head. Right arm behind the back. Now breathe up and how far can you reach over your head? Let's extend our warrior two. The legs stay the same. Forearm with the hand touches down. And just stretch high over the head. You can stay here if you want more. Sweep the arm behind the back. And then just rotate through the shoulders. Holding, breathing. All right, come on up. Stand with your feet under your hips. Just nice, tall posture. Draw in and tighten your core. We're going to balance. Tree pose. With your right foot, touch the toe down. Bring it a little higher on the calf. Or you can pick it up and set it above your knee high on the thigh, but you don't want to be pressing into the knee here. So I'm going to come down here. Now breathe your arms up. As you exhale, relax the shoulders down and back. Just breathe. Inhale, palms come together. Come down to the heart center. Now exhale and steady your eye gaze. Now bring the knee to the front. Toe next to the, to the inside of the knee. Breathe in and reach the arms up and open. We're coming to warrior three. Exhale, pull forward, extend the leg behind you. And breathe in and come up. Lift the chest, lift the knee. One more time. Breathe out, come forward, extending the leg back. Breathe in and rise. All right, cross your ankle over the left leg. You can touch the toe down. You can bring it up onto the shin or up above the knee on the thigh. Flexing your top foot. Now take a big breath in and stretch through the arms, through the torso. As you breathe out, bend your knee more and sink into your standing leg. of the knee. Breathe in, reach the arms up high. We're going back to our warrior three combo. Exhale, come forward. Sweeping the arms back, touch down if you need to. Breathe in and rise. Lifting the knee. Whew. Breathe out and come again. Folding forward. Breathe in and rise. Uh, let's do that again. Folding. Trusting your balance. Touching down anytime you need. It's not about perfect. Just practice. If you're like me, your standing leg is on fire right now. Holding you steady. All right, touch down. Ooh, let's shake it out. We're gonna do everything on the other side. Ooh, so bring your feet back under the hips. So just breathe and steady your body. Tree pose with your left foot, touch down. Heel to the inside of the calf or full 
foot to the calf or with that foot above the knee. Bring the arms up. And breathe the shoulders back and down. Try pushing your foot into your leg and try pushing your leg into your foot. Breathe, palms come together. Down to the heart center. around to the front, toe to the inside of the knee, now breathe in, reach up, ready for our warrior three combo, exhale, come forward, extending the leg back, inhale, lifting the knee, lifting the arms, and again, exhale, tipping forward, Leg is long behind you and rise. All right, touch down. This time, the foot crosses the ankle. Your ankle crosses the foot. Keep the toe on the floor, on the shin, or up on the thigh. Flexing the top foot. Breathe and lengthen through the torso. Exhale and then sink into the leg. Strong in the leg. All right, and then palms come together. Pretty bad, and just steady your body. Toe comes to the inside of the knee. Breathe in, arms reach up. Ready for our flow. Exhale, come forward, warrior three. Bending that standing knee for balance, and then rise. Just go your pace here. If you want to go slower, that's okay. Or you can move with the music. Just do what feels right to your body. Two more times. Just breathe and feel how your breath steadies your body. Helps you find your balance. How about one more? Oh, standing legs keep it up. Yes. Come on up. Shake it out. Ooh. Fantastic job. All right, we're going to come down to the floor now for some hip stretches. So come on down, tuck your toe. We're going to come into a seated position. So it's a seated half lotus. Your right foot crosses in front of your left or it can be up on your calf or up on your thigh, wherever it works best for you. Some people call it crisscross applesauce, same thing. You just wanna feel your sit bones and make sure that they're grounded on the floor here. And then strengthen your ankles by flexing your top foot. I'm just gonna breathe in and reach the arm. Your left arm comes to the outside of your right knee. You might want to use your back hand, push into the floor, and then breathe, lift into the spine. If it feels good, just look over the back shoulder. Keep breathing. back in. This time, bring the soles of the feet together. 
and you just line it and just four arms to the thighs. It might feel good to just come forward a little bit here. And lifting the belly and just using the forearms to gently open through the knees and the hips. Relax through the head and neck and shoulders.
All right, come back to the center, touch down. Knees wide, coming into a child's pose. So just shift your hips back, reach the arms long. All right, come on up. We're gonna roll onto our back. We have one more working track. So just grab your legs and roll yourself back. Feels good to hug your knees into your chest. All right, extend your leg closest to me. So that's your right leg. And just grab on, below the knee, above the knee, wherever it feels good to you. You want your tailbone resting on the floor here. So if it lifts, just ease off of the stretch in the hamstring. So just breathe and relax the shoulder blades into the floor. All right, we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna climb up the leg like it's a rope. Here we go, breathe in and climb up the leg and then hold, hold. Exhale and climb back down, resting the shoulders and the head on the floor. We're gonna do that one more time. So breathing in, bring your nose towards your knee and then hold. Breathing out, climb back down. the knees into the chest again. Mm. Okay, let's switch legs. We'll put them to the floor this time. Other leg extends and you hold the leg lower above the knees. Feel that your hips are level. And your tailbone's resting on the floor. As you breathe, just feel the breath rolling up the back of the leg. the shoulders down into the mat. Feel that great stretch in the back of the legs. All right, feet come together and down. Knees fall wide. And then if it feels good, just cup your elbows right above your head. spend just a few minutes trying to get a little more relaxation. So go ahead and find a comfortable position. If you're cold, put on a sweatshirt. Pause your video and then come back in when you're ready. So just take some time 
to adjust your body into a position that feels really comfortable. You might want to extend the legs. You might want to bend them. Just bring your hands wide with your palms out. If you're pregnant, you might want to roll onto your side here and just rest. Close your eyes. We're just going to bring our attention to our forehead. See if you can relax through the forehead. Soften the muscles around your eyes. Soften the cheeks. Maybe let your jaw go slack. Breathe down the length of your neck and into your shoulders. And then just let your shoulders melt into the mat. Bring your focus to your breath. Follow it all the way in to the top of the breath. And then follow it all the way back out. Just keep following the breath as it flows in, filling the lungs, filling the body. Stretch out, maybe roll onto your side, and then ease your way back up to sitting. And just take a big breath in, sweep the arms up, and let it go. 
thanks for joining me today, guys. Just let me know how your workout felt in the comments, and I'll see you next time.